welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is a haul from Printworks. Now, Printworks reached out to me asking to see if I would be willing to shop their website and try out some of their cardstock, their photo paper, and other items from their website that I could use in my crafty life here on my channel. Now, they are aware that I am a scrapbooker and memory keeper at heart, so you know I had my eye out to try out the cardstock first, and they also had photo paper. But not only cardstock and photo paper do they offer, they also have plenty of stuff for organization um, in your craft room or also what I'm also considering this for is for some of my homeschooling printables for Valentina. Um, we're not sending her to school this year. I will be taking over some of that responsibility. So these are the items I picked out um, and I'm going to give my first impressions and then in the upcoming videos you will see me do crafty projects with all of these items and then you'll get a thorough uh, review on what I think. Now what's great also about Printworks is that they are affiliated or kind of linked up with Amazon. So if you are, if you have an Amazon account you can totally see all of they have to offer and already on their Amazon kind of uh, storefront they have plenty of inspirational projects and craft items that others have been doing with their products and it's very inspirational they have a lot of like holiday things that I was already taking a look at thinking hey I could do that next year for 4th of July or something else <laughs> so first um, in the box was um, of course you know me I need my photo paper and they have the high gloss photo paper in 4x6 as well as they had a matte version as well. I'm not too partial to matte photos. I always like my high gloss. And so I got two packs of them. They are 60 sheets per pack. So all of my photos that I print will be using these in upcoming videos as well. Next are always, I guess I'm gonna just do the cardstock. I'm so excited for paper. I mean, I mean, if you're a scrapbooker, you know you get giddy over paper, no matter what, no matter when, no matter how. So I had picked out a few different packs. So there's four packs total here that I picked out. First is their pastel collection. And just like other ones, they give the kind of color palette down at the bottom. So we have mint, which is like a pastel green, buttercream, a yellow, pink, and baby blue. And it's just all kind of bundled nicely together and on the cover they have pinwheels which is always a good idea to do for crafty projects when it comes to cardstock then you know I had to pick out the neon collection as well with the color palette down below yellow pink orange blue green and again a different version of pinwheels is on the packaging and they are um, stacked nicely together also so this one is uh, 65 pound weight paper and the other one previously the pastel was 67 so this one's a little bit heavier gauge than the neon that's okay though and then this one is like kind of construction paper I would guess it's called fiesta paper and it says it's 24 weight paper and then the color palette down below we have a lime purple orange and gold I love these kind of pinwheely 3d uh inspirational photos they have so yeah so on their paper too it gives you kind of the scale so paper weight guide so you can see that it's 24 weight so it's like a cardstock weight this one being at 67 so it goes higher in that weight category and this one at 65 as well so that's kind of like very much like user error <laughs> a user friendly I mean so there is no error and then I also got their classic just black and white card stack again all these also are eight and a half by 11 and this one is 65 weight card stock um, so there's that um, kind of scale there and I love these kind of paper flowers they have as min inspiration so of course you know I always want classic white and black I do a lot of my cut files with this so this was a, this was the first thing I chose and then the other things were obviously to make embellishments and other fun things so fun things they also offer and I'm going to do a crafty project kind of like a mommy and me shirt uh uh, shirt for me and Valentina soon so it's trans it's fabric transfer um, collages so you can print this and then put it either on the dark wash of, of fabric or the light wash I got the pack that's both just because I wasn't sure what avenue I would go to so I will figure that out and I'm kind of figuring like I want to do almost like a mom life and uh, like toddler life shirt for her and take some fun photos like that it says it works on inkjet printers so dark and light fabric transfer for paper so there's five dark and five light all at eight and a half by eleven um so i'm excited about this as well and you can see that um 
inspiration shows like a definitely like a family um, portrait kind of on there and then something for a birthday party. So I have some crafty ideas. So stay tuned for me using this as well. And then they offered Stop It, you know, me and glitter paper. Like what? <laughs> So it's gold glittered cardstock and there's 15 sheets it seems in each 104 weight on their paper and how many sheets 15 sheets in each I did say that so gold silver and the white glitter for sure these are all sample packs and so it also indicates that you can print on them there's a sticker indicating that so it's on like blue inkjet and then some colored ones too so that makes it also very versatile on your projects that you could use so they showed this just having black little sample pack black ink on that and it's a nice texture and it's not um paper where the glitter comes off it's kind of smooth in that regard well not smooth but it definitely is a, a texture of rough but the glitter isn't coming undone from it and this one kind of has like an iridescent it's going to be hard to see it on there and then the silver as well. I do like this um, little sample that they did right there. So they show it for wedding invites. This one's like a birthday party invite with mermaids and another kind of invitation to a party as well. So cut files galore with that. <laughs> And then the last items on their website through Printworks is a brand called Docket. And in essence, they are folders that are all together. So kind of think of like your individual photos. These are kind of having the eight pocket, a four pocket, and an eight pocket again. So I do believe that this one and this one are the same thing. So it says it's student inspired and teacher designed. So a teacher designed them um, based on students. So it helps to hold up to eight subjects in one folder, customized labels included, and dual closure hold folders open or close. And so you can see the little um, picture where the, the documents can be top loaded. And then it says science, art, history, and English. So I can definitely see how a teacher would try to help a student out in having the individual ones, having it all in one place. So this one's called the Feathers Collection, and this is XOXO Collection. And so the closure is that button and drawstring closure. And then this is what it looks like inside. Here are the labels so that you can put each subject. And the little story in the bottom says, Jennifer Hobbs, a high school English teacher, I'll bring it up a little bit, created the Docket 8 pocket folder and the Docket 4 pocket binder after seeing her students struggle to stay organized with paperwork from multiple classes. A low profile expandable pocket combines with long lasting durability, gives students quick and easy access to all their subjects with no worry and lost papers or torn folders. So I love this. So if you are a mama bear sending your kids back to school, in the higher grade levels, this could be a perfect thing for them to have everything all in one spot. Especially if things have to have signatures, you can put this in their backpack and they only have to bring out one thing each time. And this is the same thing, except um, with the XOXO collection and it's pink inside. And they do expand, so you can see the expandable accordion style that happens. So you can get quite a few documents in there. I'm sure if it's this full, you won't be able to close it per se, but you get the idea that it's accommodating um, documents for sure. This is really cute. So yeah, so like I, I was mentioning, I am going to be homeschooling Valentina um, just for preschool. So no harm, no foul, but I have been printing out some printables um, and I know I probably want to organize them into probably like alphabet um, per week and then maybe like her tracing things and her number recognition um, things like that some connect the dots that I've gotten in the ABC's so printables like that could be really good in here for me to stay organized and then this is the four pocket binder same um, concept it's a one inch D ring and holds up to 300 seat sheets and it has the pockets on the side as well so this one's even like like perfect for a student you have the D ring binder so they can have all of their subjects here anyway with the loose leaf and then a four pocket one two three four pocket expandable side here so in case they're only taking maybe four classes or even the college student that you may know these are perfect as well so and this one's gray with a white trim it is a cloth canvas kind of fabric there the same with this one except it's black um, so, uh, you know, a textured side so that they can take a beating in your bags um, and won't fray or break. And there's a heavy gauge stitch on there as well. So I will leave the link to everything I have. I 
received down below so that you can take a look. And I'll try to also include the price point now that I know that I didn't mention the price point because I am actually not familiar. <laughs> but it was uh, reasonable, even if it wasn't, because um, I know I probably always am conscious of where I get my supplies from. So this is really exciting to play with. And I know I have the photo paper right beside me too. So this is just the haul. I'm going to share um, projects with this and I'll show you even how I put some of the printables in here as well. So stay tuned for that. I hope this was enjoyable. I'll leave the links down below to Printworks um, for your convenience. And until next time, everyone, keep it crafty.